Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever, good right triangles, special right triangles. Okay, I'm going to go kind of fast here. All right, uh, first uh, special right triangle is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So they go, they, they look like this, 45, 45, 90, or they look like this with the angles concurrent, or they look like this. It's an isosceles right triangle. All those triangles are the same. They have two equal sides, and then whatever the hypotenuse is, it's always root 2 times the sides. Okay, so uh, sometimes they'll give you the hypotenuse. So instead of multiplying by root 2, you have to divide by root 2, so it would be y over root 2. Okay, so 30, 60, 90 triangles. Told you I'm going fast. Uh, there's your 30, 60, 90 triangle. Everything revolves around the shorter leg, so I'll call that x. And the, uh, the longer leg is always root 3 times the shorter leg, and the hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. Okay. Uh, so sometimes they'll give you the hypotenuse, so i got to go backwards and divide by 2 to get the shorter leg and multiply by root 3 to get the longer leg. Okay, now how I remember uh, 30, 60, 90 triangles is this 3 is always next to the 30. The 3's are always next to each other. So 30 means x root 3 and the other one has to be root 2. That's how I remember. Whatever gimmick you guys can come up with. Okay, so find the values of each. Here's some examples. Okay, here we have a 45 and the other angle's 45 uh, right triangle. So if that one side's 8, um, there's my 45, the other side is 8, and the hypotenuse is 8 root 2. Okay, here's number 2. Okay, this time they give you that both legs are 3 root 2's. Well, that means they're isosceles, they're equal to each other. So the hypotenuse is root 2 times the 3 root 2, and root 2 times root 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, now this time on number three, they give you that these two sides are equal because they're both x, so it's another isosceles right triangle. The hypotenuse has the root two, so take it off, and that's what the side is. Okay, number four, we've got to divide by root two uh, to get to the sides because uh, they gave you the hypotenuse. So six divided by root two is six over root two. And then, of course, to get rid of the radical, you multiply it by root two over root two, and you get six root two over plain old two, and then that bottom 2 now can go into the 6 3 times, so I get 3 root 2. Okay, here's a, uh, looks like a 30, 60, 90. That other angle must be 30, so they give me the shorter leg, so the uh, hypotenuse is 8, and the longer leg is root 3 times the shorter leg, 4 root 3. See, this is easy. Okay, here's another 30, 60, 90 triangle. This time they give you the longer leg. It has the root 3 hiding in it, so I have to divide by root 3 to get to the shorter leg. And then multiply by root 3 over root 3, and the 3's will cancel. You end up getting 3 root 3. The ticket, you guys, is when you divide by a number by a radical, just divide the number in there and then tag that same radical. So I'm dividing by root 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so it would be 3 root 3. Okay, and then the hypotenuse is twice uh, the shorter leg. The shorter leg's uh, 3 root 3, so double that is 6 root 3. Okay, here's another one. Got these fours and the twos, and uh, need to see that that bottom side is four also. So that what that does is it's an equilateral triangle, means it's equiangular. So all those angles are 60. So if all those angles are 60, so is that one. That little guy's 60. And then I'll pull that triangle out right there. It's a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And if that bottom piece is two, then the longer leg is two root three. Okay. Uh, number eight. Um, uh, let's see, they give you the hypotenuse, so take half of it, that's the shorter leg, and multiply by root 3, that's the longer leg. Piece of cake. Piece of triangle. <laughs> Alright, uh, this one, 30, 60, 90 triangle, the longer leg has the root 3, so if I take it off, that's the shorter leg is 9, and then the hypotenuse is twice that, or 18, and then on the bottom you got a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And uh, so if I divide by root 2, 18 divided by root 2, it's going to get me a 9 root 2. Okay, that's it for now.